Whoa! Whoa! That worked. Hello guys and welcome to a video covering the greater chain ability. So when you're ready, grab your cup of tea, sit back, relax and enjoy. Greater Chain is an ability unlocked by using the Greater Chain Ability Codex, which is a drop from the new Raksha boss. What this ability allows you to do is deal AoE damage after you've used your chain ability, allowing you to hit every single target chain hit for 50% of the damage the ability would have hit on your main target. More specifically, what it does is it splits the range of damage an ability can do in half. For example, Deep Impact's 40 to 200% ability damage turns into 20% to 100% ability damage. This ultimately means that hits on secondary targets can vary in levels of damage output. Just like with Greater Ricochet, the amount of targets Greater Chain can hit can be increased by using the Karoming perk up to a total of 6 using Karoming 4. Now, you can get unlucky and making a bunch of these gizmos can be annoying and very costly, so keep that in mind, especially since Greater Chain isn't as effective as Greater Ricochet for single target DPS. This may or may not be changed in the future, so if that's the case, I will probably change the title of this video. But as of right now, Greater Chain works entirely different than Greater Ricochet, apart from Karoming adding extra hits. For those wondering, here are four effects that only affect the primary target, including Sacrifice Heals, Shatter, Reprisal, and Vulnerability, of course, not being applied to every single target. That's a little strange, actually, because I would expect that to work since we have Vuln Bombs, but I think it has to do with the fact that the auto attacks of your spells cannot snipe your greater chain effect. As for multiple targets, Storm Shards can be applied to all targets with Chain, Tusker's Wrath ability does work after Greater Chain and the hits on task are absolutely massive. Dragon Breath apparently has the chance to apply Combust on secondary targets if using the Dragon Rider Amulet. The G-Staff spec does work on multiple targets. The Horror and Shock abilities do knock back all enemies when used with Greater Chain. Smoke Tendrils do apply to all targets, but there's a good chance you will KO yourself because you get all the bleeds. And this does work in PvP, as you can see on the video. Onslaught also works, which is quite funny, but you of course get extra damage for the amount of targets you hit extra using Onslaught. The Inspiration Aura does give you extra adrenaline for every successful target hit. Debilitate does apply the damage debuff against all targets hit. Corruption Blast Blades do work on all targets, meaning that the first hit, the highest hit, is applied to every single target with the chain, which ultimately means the targets that usually get the second hit and then start bleeding with Corruption Blast have an extra hit on top of that, meaning Corruption Blast will do more damage overall. And for those wondering, it does not work with ranged or melee, so no AoE mutated barge bleeds or no multiple SGB specs in one. Two things worth mentioning, first being Asphyxiate, you can get off all four your hits within a greater chain AoE spec time thingy. But, if your primary target dies, the AoE effect will die with them. Meaning, if you use Greater Chain on a low HP target and you end up killing them, that means you won't be able to use the effect until the ability gets off the cooldown again. So, Greater Chain is extremely powerful when used in situations where you can harness the benefit of big area of effect damage. But the problem is, is that most bosses in RuneScape 3 don't require area of effect damage. They require single target DPS, and that's something Greater Chain lacks. That being said, this ability still is extremely good, for Slayer and maybe one or two bossing scenarios, but it isn't relevant for bosses that are high end. The only one I can think of might be Telos when you're clearing the minions in phase 5. Other than that, I don't think it can be useful at any other high level boss. Perhaps you could use it at Gold Rush Dungeon 1, but let's be honest, who's going to be buying an ability worth 160 mil plus just to camp Krill? It is of course useful when you have minions or stuff to clear like the elite dungeons, 
but for the majority of the mobs in Elite Dungeon 2, you're probably better off using Chinchompas, even though the damage with the Chinchompas might be slightly lower depending on what you use with Greater Chain, you can use the AoE effect of Chinchompas every single attack, while with Greater Chain you can only use it for the first attack you do. This makes Greater Chain not good and not bad at killing the minions in Elite Dungeon 2, giving you no other reason to use magic at all, because you could just simply use ranged Greater Ricochet and Chinchompas, and it's going to be a lot better than using magic. And the problem with that is that magic doesn't really have much going for it as of right now, and I'm going to make a separate video about this, but there's absolutely no reason to take magic over ranged at Elite Dungeon 2 right now because ranged does have Greater Ricochet. It also has a corruption ability. You have Chinchompas, which magic doesn't. You have the Criminal Bolts, you have the Eldritch Crossbow, which works well at Elite Dungeon 2. There are a lot of things that make range better than Magic at Elite Dungeon 2, and Greater Chain doesn't really give that wow factor to Magic for PvM. That being said, Greater Chain does outperform melee at Abyssal Demons in Kodal's Dungeon, but ranged is still better with Chinchompas and Demon Slayer gear. In my Inquisitor staff video, I already mentioned that it outperforms a melee when killing corrupted creatures both off and on task, but if you add Greater Chain to the mix, you get even more kills per hour at Corrupted Scorpions. That is quite neat. It also works quite well for Dinosaur Slayer tasks, even if you're using all that call and aggression potions, though you might not be able to AFK as easily as with melee, because melee does of course have a Vampirism Scrimshaw. And it works at Shadow Creatures, and it will outperform melee there. But let's be brutally honest here, for the cost, this ability lacks versatility against single target bosses. And there's no reason to buy this ability for PvM if you only do bossing, unless you do a lot of Telos, or you're going for insane final boss, and you're going to do a lot of fight kilns. Other than that, there's just... For every other situation, there's a better combat style. At Twin Furies, it will work, but... You might as well use a scythe. At Elite Dungeons, it will work for clearing the minions, but you might as well use Chinchompas or a scythe and dual wield weapons, depending on which Elite Dungeon. So, it's... I don't know, I, I wish it was the same as Greater Ricochet. It would have been so much better if it would be the exact same, because regular Ricochet and Chain are pretty much the same ability. Why aren't the Greater versions the same? It doesn't make sense to me. That little voice crack made me sound a little sad there, but um, I really hope they change it. It does work in PvP, and this might be useful for group warbands to be king if you want to kill a bunch of people at the same time. I'm not really sure if this would work properly in an actual PKing or group PKing situation, but uh, I wanted to add it in nonetheless. It was really fun to test this against six other people though, so yeah, shout out to my clannies. Nexus, Plebshot, Jabs, Nits, Jaces, Zebra for helping me with these clips. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it interesting, and let me know what you think of Greater Chain down in the comments below. Catch you guys in the next one. Peace.